Okay, what are your favorite toys? Okay, so from the last one, I don't follow what she got exactly, but she never got the hang of this little puzzle. She used the egg in the cup a couple times, but we've lost both the egg and the cup. She loves this and the light, apparently. She loves putting, usually trying to figure out how to put the lid on and take the lid off of this thing that is not love every. Her favorite are the heavy and light balls. She yeah. likes to throw both of them around and she doesn't really have a preference for, I thought she would like the light one better. She more often than not moves the heavy one around. <gasps> what about your baby doll? She has her love every baby doll and of course her Mexican baby doll. She does not prefer one to the other. Well, she probably prefers the Mexican one because this little string is really great. Oh yeah. So out of the last box, these are her favorite. She's really into balls right now. She does like these a little bit. She is stacking them a little bit. This came from a box several boxes ago. We also put Cheerios in here and she likes having them and um, turning some time be over her own stuff. As you can see, she really enjoys her non Montessori, non Lunarby toys that make a lot of noise. And most of the things that she use, uses are things that she wants to put in her mouth. She loves the sleep pee. She loves these things just because of their texture. She doesn't actually pop them. You want this? <laughs> And she really loves the strainer. Um, it, it's a hat, it's a hiding device, and she can put things into it. So those are her favorite toys right now, but out of the last Love Every Box, the opposite balls are her favorite. Well, certainly as to what's most engaging, Love Every Toys are not the most engaging for her. I don't think they're designed to be the most engaging. They're designed to promote the most developmental acquisition. I have no idea if they help or not. She went to physical therapy. They definitely did not use Montessori toys to engage her. Um, and they more used toys to motivate her to kind of take the next steps, quite literally and figuratively, um, to uh, meet her next gross motor developmental milestones. Are they better than non-Montessori? No, but... I mean, I don't know. Um, I think the nice thing is that you don't have to do all this research beforehand to kind of say, oh, which one should I buy that may be developmental, developmentally beneficial? And so that's, I think, the big advantage. They're very kind of pleasing to the eye. The problem is they're really, I mean, she's not very engaged by them, and so it's hard to get her to play with them, and it's hard to set them up like, oh, this is a task that you need to do. Like, this egg goes in this cup. She just wants to take out all the pieces, examine them, kind of put them in her mouth, feel them, see if they balance or roll or whatever, but she doesn't want to kind of say, this. these two things go together and how do they go together? She wants to figure out how things go together for her own uh, desires. And so, as you know, Montessori is supposed to be this kind of like child-led learning where they take a task out and do it and the parent is just there to show it once or something and then um, be present but not kind of showing over and over and and uh, kind of t play with the child. They're kind of just present to support the child. And I, I don't think that she's capable of being in that situation where the parent is just there as a support measure without kind of specifically and frequently showing the child how the toys are supposed to work because she's, she's too young to figure it out by herself. So I guess if they're supposed to be meant um, for the parent to be playing with the child every time, then I guess they're good. Um, it just seems kind of like a little bit uh, diametrically opposed to one of the, you know, like basic tenets of what I thought I understood Montessori to be. So a little confusing for me, but, um, I would buy them, you know, having had them now, I, I'm glad that I had them for her. I'm also glad that I got a slight discount and that I did the one year subscription. So I didn't have to like think about, oh, it's time to buy a toy. 
um, and it just kind of came. I don't think that I've noticed that the Love Every toys have been more instrumental in her learning particular milestones compared to any other toys. Like, does she like these balls any more than the little plastic balls she got in a, a water table? No, she likes them pretty... Well, she does like them differently because they have different uh, attributes, you know? These are like plastic, they're hard, they make different noises when she taps them, versus these are heavy or squishy, um, they have a different kind of um, sheen to them. She likes this big... I don't know where it is. She has a, a big plastic soft squishy ball. She's got the felt ball from Love Every. So she, I think she likes that they have different um, tactile and physical properties, but they could have been from anywhere. Because, um, yeah, most of what she does is explore, like, how do things go inside of other things? How do things go together? What sounds do they make? What do they feel like? What do they taste like? Um, and that doesn't is not better exe exe exemplified by the love every toys. She likes what she likes. They're pretty cool, but um, I think that, you know, having a variety keeps her more interested than just having, you know, if, it, if we had only had the love every toys. And she, she doesn't spend more time necessarily with the ones that make a lot of noise. Um, like she does, she has a book somewhere, it's like a little plastic book, it makes noise, but now that she's a little older, she likes playing with it even if it's not making noise. She likes turning the pages, looking at the pictures, so, I don't know. Take it for what you will. You know, is this toy better than this toy? She doesn't seem to have any preference whatsoever, except for if she wants to play with the tassels. Uh, which probably are a little dangerous. No, we don't let her just be unsupervised with them. So, I don't know. Each there are. Do you want to take that out of your pal?